is very common these days for a new game to be released and it comes with some sort of crashing, freezing or error related message. And that's exactly what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. So if you just purchased WWE 2K23, quite a tongue twister saying that, we will be taking a look at how you can fix issues such as crashing, freezing or error messages that you're receiving on your screen on a Windows computer. So the first thing that you want to do when it comes to fixing a crashing issue is to ensure that your system is completely up to date. And we can do this by right clicking on the start menu and then going to settings. You then need to click on update and security and you will then need to click on the check for updates button. If you have the latest updates installed for Windows, including the latest feature update, you can see there that I do have one available for my computer, then you can move on to the next step. If you didn't have the latest updates installed, then launch the game and see if that helped. So after each method, instead of me having to keep saying, try the game now, I'm just going to leave it in your hands to obviously launch the game after each method to see if the method helped fix the game. So now that Windows is up to date, the next thing that you want to do is also ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So depending on what graphics card you have will depend on where you need to get the driver from. So if you have an Nvidia graphics card, then you would obviously need to go to the Nvidia website. If you have an AMD graphics card, then you'd need to go to AMD and then Intel, you'd need to go to the Intel website. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, then you can find this out simply by right clicking on the start menu icon and then going to device manager. You then need to expand display adapters and you will then see your graphics card. So you can see there that I got an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super. I do also have a onboard, so processor graphics as well. So that does now bring me on to the next method and that's to also ensure that you are using your actual dedicated graphics card for 2K23. So after you've updated your driver, if you do have two graphics cards like myself, you now need to right click on the start menu icon and go to settings. The next thing that you need to do is click and find a setting and you now need to type in graphics. You then need to select graphics settings. You then need to scroll down until you come across graphics performance preference and you then need to click onto this drop down menu here and you then need to select desktop app and go browse. You now need to go to the location where you installed WWE 2K23. So I'm going to go to the location now. You now need to double click or just select the .exe and then click on add. You then need to scroll down and then select options and you now need to click on high performance. And as you can see there, it says Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super. So I want to ensure that I'm definitely using that graphics card. I don't want to be using the power saving one, which says AMD. So select your high performance graphics card and then click save. Now the next thing that you're going to want to do is make sure you don't have anything running on your computer before launching the game. So if you have Discord running, OBS Studio, MSI Afterburner, Razer Cortex, a web browser like Firefox, Opera or Edge, close all of this down. As it could easily be conflicted with the game, causing it to crash or not launch. So make sure you don't have anything running. That also includes like Rivia Tuner or any other sort of overlay program or a frames per second monitor. Close it all down and then try the game again. If that didn't help, then another thing that can also cause a game to crash or not launch is security software. So if you have a third party security program like Norton, AVG, AFAST or McAfee or something like that installed on your computer, then put it into a passive mode or a game mode if it does have the option or disable it completely. But just keep in mind, you might not be protected from threats while you do this and then try and launch the game again and see if it works. If it does, then you know you need to add the game to the exclusion list on your security software. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is now go to the location where you installed the game in File Explorer. Once open, you then need to right click on WWE 2K23 and go run as administrator. Now see if this allows you to run the game without any issues. If that didn't work, then you now need to go to your documents folder and you then need to find the game folder within your documents. You then need to go into here and you will now see a config file. You need to right click on this and go rename and you're just going to add BK to the end. So I do have file extensions showing there. 
So you might not be able to see that. So as you can see, it now has just config and then BK. Now launch the game again and see if that worked. What this is doing is basically if I open up this file, you can see it's got a list of all your in-game graphics settings and a few other settings there. So this is then going to allow the game now to just reset your settings and use the default settings it can detect for your computer. So once that's done, if that didn't work, then you now need to also open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you now need to go to your games library and find WWE in your games list. You then need to right click on it and then go to properties. You now need to go to local files and you'll then see a button that says verify integrity of game files. Go ahead and click onto this button. Also earlier on in the video, when I said go to the location of the game, if you're not sure where that is, then you can click on browse there and it will open up file explorer. So go ahead and click onto this button and this is then going to check all the files within the game to see if any of them have become corrupted or missing. If it does detect an issue Steam, it will then replace those files. Once it's finished, it will then let you know if it had to fix any of the files and you can then launch the game and try it again. If you're still not able to play the game, then the next thing that I'd suggest if you have overclocked any of your hardware is to remove those overclock settings. But only do this of course if you know how. As the last thing that you want to do is make the incorrect configuration to your hardware and then damage it because that's going to be pretty expensive. So another thing that could cause the game to not work correctly on your computer is if you're running a bit low on disk space. So I won't bother showing you how to check this because I'm pretty sure you know how. But if you open up File Explorer, you will see how low you are getting on disk space. If you are getting low on it and it's the drive that you do have the game installed on, then free up some space because low disk space can easily cause games to crash. So at the time of recording this video, the game has only just been released. So if this is the case for you and you're currently watching this at the time of the game being released, then it could also be that the game has currently got a bug or a glitch within it. And the only way to get this resolved is to wait, unfortunately, until the developers release a new update that patches this problem. So it doesn't matter what you do on your computer, you will not be able to fix the crashing issue until the developers resolve it. So the best way to check if this is the case is by heading over to the Twitter page for the developers. I will pop a link in the description below where they should post a tweet if they do know of a bug or a problem. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped fix the game crashing and freezing and not launching on your computer. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more computer sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.